Today I'm actually gonna be getting one of my iguanas. We're walking over there now, and we're gonna bring him in for a bath. Oh, does that feel good? I know. What did you do today? I gave my giant pet lizard a bath. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. So it is finally sunny here in South Florida. You can see it. It is absolutely beautiful. There's a little few clouds. Pool's looking great. It has been raining nonstop for a week. Today is the very first day that it has been sunny in since I got home from Atlanta like what two Sundays ago like over over a week ago so it's been raining non-stop today I'm actually gonna be getting one of my iguanas we're walking over there now and we're gonna bring him in for a bath just because it's been really rainy and muddy and the iguana has been rolling around in the dirt I like to take this iguana inside but I don't want to take it inside when it's nasty muddy so we're gonna give him a bath today in my bathtub I do it occasionally I scrub them down they enjoy it it's nice warm water they like it so we're gonna go do that now before we give this iguana a bath I want to give all of you guys an update on the hawk so if you guys have been following my channel, you saw that I rescued a hawk a couple weeks ago. So I've been nursing the hawk back up to health. I finally got this hawk to start eating on his own. I was putting dead mice in there and he was eating them on his own. And he kind of outgrew the box I had him in. So I took him over to ZWF Miami. If you're not following him, link in bio. Great place here in Miami. So I put him in one of their cages and I knew his time to be released was coming soon. I figured in like a week or so and I was gonna go back and do a release video because I wanted to show all of you guys. I wanted to take him out and do an awesome release, but he had other plans. One of the zookeepers there opened the cage and he just jumped out and pew, bye. He flew away. So it was his time to go. He had plans of his own. He didn't want to follow my schedule. So yeah, he is out free. I'm glad I was able to rehabilitate this animal. If any of you guys have any abandoned wildlife that you see in your area, it is the start of summertime. You're going to see a lot of baby animals abandoned, hit by cars. Do not try to take care of them on your own. A lot of times people don't know what they're doing with these animals. They feed them the wrong thing. They have bad injuries. You always wanna call your local wildlife rehabber and give it to them. So now that I gave all of you guys a final update on the hawk, we're gonna go check out these iguanas. Hello, how are you doing? We got thing one, Luna, dozer. Thing one is not too nice. Wow, look how fat she is. She's gonna be laying eggs soon. What? What? What are you doing? You are a weirdo. Watch this. She's gonna she's gonna tail whip me. Woo! Watch yourself. You need to watch yourself, Missy. Don't do that. And then this is the girl that's gonna be coming inside. She's my sweetest iguana that I have. Are those loud noises scaring you, mama? What's going on? Are you okay? You can see why they call them rhino iguanas. They have these big horns right here. What, are you, do you wanna nest? So this is their little nesting area where when they're ready to lay eggs, this is where they're gonna go. They're gonna start digging around. They'll deposit the eggs. I'll collect them and put them in the incubator. What? Wow, you're acting very strange today. I don't know what's up with you. I don't know, I just fed them, you can see. I just. They just got fed. Hi. I don't know what is up with her. Come on. Inside the cage, he's probably the nicest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch yourself, sir. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Don't tail with me. We're friends. Yeah. Look at him. He's like hydraulic, man. He like just goes, lifts up. Boop. So before I take Luna inside, I gotta go get the bathtub ready because I wanna bring her in, have the bathtub ready to go and I can just put her in and start bathing her. Guys, so this is where I'm gonna be bathing the iguana. So I'm gonna get this area cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna clean it out just cause I don't know if there's any soap or whatever that could be harmful to the iguana. So next step is I'm gonna clean this out with some alcohol. So got my little spray bottle. Just gonna spray it, get it nice and clean, kill any nasty stuff. And then we're gonna rinse this out once it sits for a minute. I got the tub all rinsed out now. So right now I'm gonna turn the water on. We're gonna get the water nice and warm for the lizard. And then we're gonna go get him and we're gonna bring him in. I just gotta feel the temp, make sure it's not too hot. Wait, that is the perfect 
temperature for the iguana. When I fill the water up, I'm only gonna fill it up to about right here, just so the iguana can kind of swim around, move around a little bit in it. I think he's gonna like it. Guys, I just came back outside to get this iguana to go put it in the bathtub for its bath, and I forgot about the most essential aspect of this, the most important item for the bath, and it's not in here. Without it, we, we can't get this done. Whoa, don't bite me. Whoa, she tried to get me. What? So we're gonna go out and we're gonna get this. It's here in my yard. It is vital that we have this. There it is. This is the most important thing in this whole video. This is going to go in the tub and this thing is it's full of nasty water. I'm gonna have to drain this thing out, but this is going in the tub with the iguana. It's his new toy. Okay guys, it is literally like a hurricane out here, like absolutely crazy. So it's the perfect time for us to take this iguana in and give her a bath. You wanna come? Come on now. Wow, you're so warm, come on. I don't know if she wants to go. Whoa, relax. Goodbye, dozer. Ah! Whoa. So she's behaving well so far. She's kind of checking out her surroundings, seeing what's going on. If you look at her nails, they're just so overgrown. So we're gonna trim her nails, give her a little mani-pedi if she's up for it. Isn't that right, Nuna? Oh, whoa, oh, she's gotta, come on, get it. Guys, so Luna is settling into her bath right now. Hi, pretty girl. How's your bath? Very good, I'm glad. She got a little rubber ducky. She doesn't really wanna swim around in it, but we're just gonna kinda take this and scrub her. Oh, does that feel good? I know. What did you do today? I gave my giant pet lizard a bath. Oh yeah. Rhino iguanas, most of them absolutely love being touched, scratched. So you see she's closing her eyes. She loves this right now. Hi mama. Right there on her ear, her nose. You see why they call them rhino iguanas? They got these massive horns right there. You enjoying that? What do you think of your rubber ducky friend? Do you like him? Can he pet you? She doesn't mind him, I'm surprised. Normally with anything bright colored, she'd start attacking him. We're just gonna be cutting her nails now. So with iguanas and any animal, you don't wanna cut you know, deep in, you just wanna cut the tip off. The further you get up, you can hit the root and then they'll start bleeding like nonstop. So with her, you just wanna put, see that little tip right there? I'm gonna get the tip just like that and then just cut. And that's over there. And then it's not sharp anymore, it's pretty blunt and it didn't hit the root, so we're good. And she's enjoying it. Oh my gosh, I love these little horns. The horns are so cool. So if any of you guys are interested in purchasing a rhino iguana, this girl is gonna have eggs any any day now, any week now. Probably in the next two weeks, she's gonna be laying her eggs. And I have another female that's going to lay eggs as well. So if you're interested in one, keep an eye out. The eggs will be hatching in like August, September. Late August, early September, maybe like beginning of October. Just depends when they lay. You know, if you have the time, the space, and you want a cool reptile, these iguanas right here make the coolest pets. So her bath time at Manny Petty is over. It is time to go back in her cage. She is being super sweet. I think I can just kind of lift her up. Come on. Oh yeah. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're on me. Ah, your claw, your back claws. Oof, I didn't cut the back ones. <laughs> this iguana right here is cooler than some dogs I know. How are you doing? You're doing okay. Oh, that claw right there is just what are you what are you what are you doing you can't go there right on, there you go there you go mama so that is going to wrap up another episode here today i hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it i had an absolute blast bringing my guana in for a bath it's always fun when i do that so if you guys have not already if you did like this video i want all of you guys to give it a thumbs up Comment down below what you thought. If you liked my iguana bath, comment down below what you thought. As well as subscribe. Guys, we are just over 
1,990 subscribers. We're at like 1,993, I think. 93, 94. We are just about to hit 2,000 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for about two months with the encouragement from my friends. You know, I had a lot of people message me, hey, when are you gonna do a YouTube? You'd be really good at it. And I kind of told them, I never wanted to do it really. I was like, nah, like forget that. But I have a lot of fun doing it. I've had an absolute blast for the past two months. I know things have been a little slow this week since I have been under the weather, but we're gonna be back in full force. Tomorrow, I am going to be filming an incredible video. I'm going on a little road trip with Paul Cafaro, so you're gonna wanna watch out for that one. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are here from my Instagram. I am going to try and start filming with the big cats and the primates, the monkeys. I know all of you guys love them. I wanna do an episode with Oliver and all of my, the jaguars, the tigers, the lions, all those amazing little monkeys and, and tigers. So I'm gonna try to get that done for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.